My name is David Jackson and I am a local historic preservationist. I've been into history since I graduated Southeast Missouri State University in 1993. I got a degree in historic preservation and it's always been my passion to preserve history. Since I was a little kid, I'd rather stay inside and listen to my grandparents talk than go outside and play with other kids. So that kind of led into my career um, and where I'm at now. And the gay liberation movement, or gay rights, is really just uh, equal rights for LGBTQ plus people. Nobody wants special rights, they just want the same rights that anybody else has. And so Pride uh, was started in 1970, and every year thereafter it's been taking place and has spread across the country. I think if I would ask anybody who is questioning what pride is and want to learn more about it. Um, it's really just an acknowledgement that there are other people in your community that aren't always just like you. If you don't happen to be LGBTQ, you are, if you have any support for those communities at all, you are the, the A part. You're the ally to those people. And most people either know someone or have a relative in their family who is one of, the, one of these individuals. I had a thought uh, for many years as an archivist working at the Jackson County Historical Society to uh, find materials about gays and lesbians in Kansas City and you couldn't find anything. So I had the idea to, to found an archive, at least start a collection um, at the Historical Society for that kind of specific research. And uh, it kind of morphed into uh, the Gay and Lesbian Archive of Mid-America, which I co-founded with a couple of friends of mine who were also archivists and historians locally. Yeah, uh, Changing Times is now in its second edition, which came out in 2016. It's uh, a 400-page doorstop, I call it. And uh, the next version will come out this later this year, and it'll be two volumes because it's just expanded so much in the last uh, five years. The book, Changing Times, is organized in two sections. The first half of it is an almanac, and the second half is a digest where there are actual one-page, five-page, ten-page stories, uh, individual stories on specific topics that people have submitted. And so, again, both of those um, sections have grown so much in the last five years that we're going to have to have two volumes uh, with this third edition that's coming out uh, in 2021. People are interested in locations of where LGBTQ plus locations are in the metro area. And so I started out creating a, a bar census, and that's an appendix to the book where I've researched every bar that I could find, nightclub, um, and it has expanded to churches, to restaurants, to other LGBTQ plus friendly locations from the 1930s to today. And then I took the bar census that's in the, in the book and created a history pin site online. It's historypin.org and you can find my collection there where all of these locations, there's probably 150 throughout the metro area, um, are pinned on this collection. And so you can visit these places virtually. Many of them don't survive any longer uh, and then some of them do. For people who live in independence, they should feel really special and lucky because Harry Truman was a huge proponent of equal rights. You know, he integrated the military while he was president. And even thereafter, when the civil rights movement in the 1960s came about, Truman, here in independence, told leaders uh, integration is going to go well in independence. And um, so that it's a really rich her heritage and all of that can be explored at the Truman Library. Those you know, papers, those letters, those things that were saved by Truman, to Truman, from Truman, about basically what we would call diversity today. So he was really at the forefront. You can find LGBTQ plus history in the Kansas City area, first and foremost through my book, Changing Times, if you're interested in print books and it's available through the Mid-Continent Library System. You can check it out. Uh, you can look at it online. Sections of it are uh, on my website, which is orderlypackrat.com. I think I'd like ordinary people to recognize that there are these special days and weeks and months of the year that are designated by cities, by counties, by federal government to recognize specific communities, specific individuals, specific interests. And it is all about calling attention to diversity. Something that is out there that is different from yourself, different from your own understanding or awareness. And I hope that people will uh, resonate with that 
and, and um, help to celebrate those communities and support them.